Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children 18 plus, you are tuned in to the Loan Officer Podcast with me, Dustin Owen, and my main man, Jay-Z, John Coleman. Dio, what's popping? Hey, question for you. Yes. Most episodes leading up to like the previous, like maybe eight to 10, mm-hmm. you didn't have that like C. C. I mean, it's and kind of been there. you just added it. I mean, it's kind of, it's kind of evolved. You like it? Natural evolution. Was it, was that like a fan request? Like, no. oh, John, I really Jay-Z. love it. See, I don't know. As, as we get more comfortable in the intros and we just don't think about it, I think we tend to ad lib sometimes. So okay. Is that what it is? I think that's yeah, what Yeah, I, I, I picked up on it. What do you, what do you call that when, when the C. voice inflection? There's a term for it, but I don't know the name of it. You're so the I'm musician, not me. I know, me. I am, but I, I don't know. I don't know what it's called. Hey, so you and I are going to be in San Diego next month, right? Yeah. We finally booked your flight. Thank God. Right? I have my, my CMB graduation on hey, Sunday. Hey. Yeah, looking forward. Congratulations to all the 2021s. Yep. I think it was a record class for the certified mortgage bankers. Okay. I guess that's what happens when there's COVID going on. People are like, well, shit, what am I going to do? I can't right. travel. I can't go on vacations. You know what? Let me study for this I'm thing. going to finally tackle the CMB designation. Right. Right. No, but kudos to all those people. I look forward to meeting them when we go out there. I found out today that you can be my guest. Yes. I'm allowed two guests. We're going to auction off who gets to be the second guest. Yeah, I know, right? All that money will go to charity. Easy. Okay. Uh, that's a joke, by the way, because I can't believe someone would be like, yeah, I would love, I would to, be love to be a guest at a graduation you'd ceremony. You'd be surprised. For a professional designation. It's not even like I'm getting my doctorate or my master's. Is it, is it open bar? We'll mm. make it that way. We will make it that way. Even, even if, if it's not, I'll e- make it open bar. Yes, even if we have to maybe grab a bottle of Hendrix and bring it in with us. Okay. Well, it'll be open bar for you and I, but maybe you can bring the camera. I maybe will. Maybe capture some, some good shots, some yep. good photos. Yep. We can create some content, throw it up there. We'll Share pimp out the, the Mortgage Bankers Association, pimp out CMB once again. It's all love. Yeah, that's going to be fun, heading out to San Diego. Sounds good. We'll be there Sunday. Was it October 17th? I, well, I don't know. Monday, Tuesday, we take the red eye home Wednesday. That just means Brr. you stay up the night before, don't go to sleep, and sleep it off on the plane. Well, you have to do something like yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds yeah. like a vacation, Dustin. It's not a vacation. John, I don't know what you're going to be doing, but I'm going to be in meetings Starting at probably 7 a.m. all the way through about midnight. Mm-hmm. Um, that's how these national conferences work. I've done one in Boston. I've done, I've done one in uh, New York City. Mm-hmm. And here's what I need from you, John. Okay. I need the website to be done. Okay. I saw Dennis Miller was here today. So a long that's day a, today. That's a good sign. Yeah. Website needs to be done yep. because when I'm go, going and doing my boring ass mm. executive type wah, meetings, wah. I need you to post up at the bar. Yep. Oh, make there. friends. Yep. Do what Show I do. off the website. Just do what I do. You just know. do what you do. Just, just be John. Yes. Yeah. And limit your time at the dispensary for like fine, maybe right? an it's hour fine. every other day. That's fine. That works? I only need one trip. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it is not a vacation, Dustin. However, today's topic does relate to said word, which is vacations. Yeah, something that we're dealing with right now here in the office. You're like, Dio, let's make, a, let's make a conversation out of this. Literally. Especially as it pertains to most people in sales in general, yeah. period, in the story, like in sales, yeah. you need to take time off. Yeah, but if I take time off, my business will hurt and I can't, you know I, what? I promise you, this is experience talking. Mm-hmm. If you don't get an opportunity to get out, get away, unwind, and decompress, you'll be less productive mm-hmm. going forward. Mm-hmm. You know, it's interesting. This is how the universe works. What book am I displaying, or we displaying yeah, today? Still the Lizard. Still the Lizard. Okay, I've talked about my buddy, Rene Rodriguez. Mm-hmm. Shout out, Rene. Who is like the Jedi master of sales and presentation. Mm-hmm. Homeboy does know a whole lot about mortgages. Mm-hmm. But he's a big name in the mortgage industry because he helps mortgage professionals get in the right mental state. He helps them become better presenters and speakers. Mm-hmm. And he talks about the reptilian brain. Mm. Right, This book... Is about the reptilian brain as well, mm-hmm. and it's it's called still the lizard. We all have a lizard brain. To still it is to quiet it, to calm it. Mm. You cannot still your lizard brain if you are not taking time off to decompress. That's true. How cool is that? That is. Yeah. You came to me with the topic. Yeah. I had already chosen the book to be the centerpiece. <laughs> yeah. Because I just finished this book. Right. I finished this book. This is really crazy. I follow Megan Anderson. Do you know who Megan Anderson is? I do not. Yeah, nor did I until I started watching MBS Highway Mm -hmm. every single morning with my market update. That's Barry Habib. He was on the show last week or earlier, like last week. Last week, yeah. Um, 
and Megan is, does his social media. She has a segment now gotcha. on the show. And I've noticed from following her on social that she's really trying to become a student to the, to the game, to the economics games, the mortgage-backed security game. And this is a book that she had posted. And I, she didn't say a whole lot about it. But it was like all tethered and tethered and mm -hmm, beat up yeah. and highlighted like crazy. Obviously, it's a book that she really loves, yeah, right? Clearly, like, yeah. what else would you do with a book yeah. that if you didn't like it, like yeah. it, it would be like, you know, yeah, still brand new. Brand new. Yeah. Yep. So I decided to hop on Amazon. I think I was buying Barry's book at the same time. I'm like, yeah. I'll buy this book too. I always need a, a new book mm -hmm. to, to work on. Well, this one's still the lizard. So I just finished it. I brought it in today. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that they talk about still on in the book is decompressing mm -hmm. because your lizard brain is what, for the most part, keeps us um, alive. Right. Right. It's very reptilian in right. that, like uh, very instinctual, mm -hmm. very habitual. But it also can be a massive roadblock mm -hmm. for many of us. Like for me, where I need to steal the lizard, I'm the type of person who always has to be right. Yeah. Yeah, that's not a quality that I want to embrace. I've seen you on the phone with Southwest for like three days trying to get a $75 voucher back. So, yeah, I know. Yes, that was my <laughs> lizard brain. My lizard brain was 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 taking over. Right. And in the book, Still the Lizard, they talk about things like the, the need to get proper rest, mm -hmm. the need to not always be right, mm -hmm. the need to get proper nutrition. Right. They also talk about the need to get away. Just get away. So then how do we do it? That's what you want to talk yeah. about because we have one of our top producers who who is really needed to get away. Mm -hmm. And I was so proud of him because he did. Mm -hmm. He and his wife are up in the mountains. Mm -hmm. He's not calling into the office as much as I, he normally would. Right. And you were asking me like, but Dio, how do these guys and girls do it? These people who are 100% commission, how do yeah. they do it? Absolutely. And I would tell you most not well, most need to work on being better at it. And the reason why is because if you don't, then you're gonna allow your lizard brain to take over. And when your lizard brain takes over, you're less productive, you're less forward thinking, you mm -hmm. have a difficult time of staying ahead of the curve. Yeah. So you think you're doing the right thing, but like, oh, I can't take a break, I can't take time off. Mm -hmm. But all of a sudden you go from, from maybe you're normally at, at a level seven, seven and a half, eight mm -hmm. out of 10 in terms of productivity, mm -hmm. to now you're at a steady seven, yeah. now a steady six. Yeah. You take two years without taking time off, you're at a steady five. But I've been grinding for so long, if I'm almost done. Uh... Yeah, you just got to get away. Yeah. I mean, and I've been buying into this. There's this guy, I won't mention his name, but he and I worked together. And when I separated that employer, this was obviously 15 now years right. ago, like it didn't go well. He didn't take to, to heart that I left and took offense to it and made a big stink about it. And, um, but I remember, and he was a top producer at the time. So mm -hmm. he was always someone that we younger professionals looked up to. Mm -hmm. But he was actually the first person to introduce me to it. Really? That, yeah, he said he learned that he had his best months the months after he took a whole week off. Right. Yeah. But it took him like five or six years. So I at least was able to hear that. Mm -hmm. And although, you know, we didn't necessarily, we weren't BFF in the office. And then when I left, he, he took it personal. Mm -hmm. Um I still respected him. Right. So I still had that advice and, and it's and it's true. Mm -hmm. So what people need to do is first and foremost, you have to take time off. Okay, but how do you do it? Right. Okay, maybe you don't just disappear. Off the grid, can't reach me. Yeah, that doesn't quite work. Yeah. Not when you're working in a profession where you're 100% commissioned, like you're a solopreneur. Mm -hmm. You are the business owner. John, you may be a loan officer at Guild Mortgage or Fairway Mortgage or um, FBC, FBC, Waterstone, yeah. mortgage firm, you name it. Yeah. But you technically, in my opinion, work for John Coleman LLC, right. a subsidiary or a division <laughs> of oh, one of those, right. you know, many lenders that I just mentioned. Mm -hmm. So you can't just like, you know, the owner of most companies can't just disappear. You still need to get away. Right. And what I recommend is like anything you, you start with baby steps. Maybe it starts with a long weekend. Mm. Maybe it starts with, Hey, you know what? We're going to fly out on Thursday. We're going to come back Sunday night, Monday morning, mm -hmm. and I am not going to check or I'm not going to work more than 45 minutes on Friday. And that's going to be checking my emails for 15 minutes in the morning, mm -hmm. checking them at lunch for 15 minutes, and then another 15 minutes at 5 p.m. That's it. For me, I live on the East Coast, mm -hmm. so I recommend people on the East Coast go out West. 
And here's why. Right? You be Here's why. Because when I'm out west, whether it's California or Colorado, I'm in a different time zone. Right? If I'm in Colorado, I'm two hours away. Right. So 3 p.m. Colorado time is 5 p.m. Right. back back home. Yeah. And I typically get up early anyhow. So if I'm getting up at even on vacation, 7 a.m. Dog, yeah. And even if I'm hungover and I'm mm-hmm. groggy, I'm still getting waking. My body clock's going to get mm-hmm. me up by 7. I'm going to make my coffee while I'm making my coffee and my, my wife's, you know, taking a shower, blow drying her hair, like the best part of being bald, you and I don't have to blow dry our hair, (laughs) but our wives do. Blow drying her hair, putting on her makeup, putting her contacts. I'm sitting out on the balcony Mm -hmm. or I'm sitting in the room Mm -hmm. and I'm drinking my coffee. I'm trying to, you know, rehydrate from the night before and I'm checking my emails. That's at 7 a.m. Colorado time or or 7 a.m. California time, Mm -hmm. which is really eight or nine back back home. Mm -hmm. But then at three o'clock, we're at two o'clock. If yeah. I'm in California. Yeah. I'm done, though. Done. I'm really done. Yeah. Right. So that's even that's even a, a, a tip or trick. But really, start with 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 small. Yeah. And force yourself to get into that habit. Mm-hmm. The next trip you may do, you may try to book end it around a holiday. Yeah. Right. Hey, it's Thanksgiving. Cool. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and just take off Monday, uh, Wednesday. I already have off Thursday, Friday. Yeah. So that way I, I, I can do that. I can take those five days off. Mm-hmm. It works really well around New Year's. Really really well around um. Christmas Mm -hmm. and make sure before you leave, you have someone covering for you. And that person covering is not your manager. (laughs) Your, your sales manager, your branch manager cannot be the person who covers for you. In most cases, find another loan originator. That's a lot like you that you trust enough to say, Hey man, or Hey lady, Mm -hmm. can you hook a sister up? Can you hook a brother up? Can you cover my book? And then understand what that means. By covering my book does not mean that I'm going to, if I'm covering for you, I'm going to structure a loan. I'm going to get a pass on yeah, hey, I'm, Russell, I'm going to do through all this stuff and get it right to yeah, package I, it up in a bow and be like, hey, welcome back. Here you go. Correct. I'm not going on sales calls for you. Right. right? Like I'm, I'm not, there's certain things, but I can do enough to that. If your client needed something like a payment run, I can run that payment. If mm-hmm. your client needed a quick pre pre-approval or pre-qualification, I can spend the 20, 30 minutes on the phone answering their questions, send them to your website or send mm-hmm. them to my website and at least get a pre-qualification or pre-approval done. Right. I don't know if I'm going to actually app and disclose loans on your behalf yeah. unless I really had to. Now, that's something that we may end up getting to um, down the road. Right. But in the, in the beginning, just think that all they're trying to do is make sure that nothing burns down. Keep the boat or the ship afloat. Yes, keep the ship afloat. Yeah. But find another loan officer. That way you guys can do a tit for tat, a little quid pro quo. Okay. Right? Hey, I got your back. You got my back. Hey, next I time, cover man. for you. Yeah, we call it the buddy system. Yeah. At the same time, make sure if you have a receptionist or you have a marketing assistant, someone who's in the office Monday through Friday, 9 to 5, mm-hmm. make sure they know. Right. Right. Make sure you've also changed your out of office. There you go. Even if you're planning on checking emails while you're out, do an out of office. Outlook is, is my email provider. And mm-hmm. I go on Outlook and I can click the boxes. I'll be out from this date to this date, this time to this time. In my message, I'm a human. I want people to know I'm human. So my message very well is going to be something along the lines of, thank you for your email. Please take note that my wife and I have gone off to Napa to celebrate our 19th year anniversary. Mm-hmm. I will be checking emails sporadically and I will not have access to my voicemail. Mm-hmm. If you, if this is an emergency, please call. Mm-hmm. If you need a mortgage pre-approval, please, <laughs> please call. call. Yeah. If it's about a loan and process, please call. Mm-hmm. Or know that I will get back to you as soon as I return on X date. Yeah. So I threw in there, like I'm a human. I'm celebrating my 19th wedding anniversary. I'm in Napa. I'm not just saying that to brag. I'm just letting you know like where I am. If mm. I'm at a work conference, I'm at a work conference. Mm. If I'm at a manager meeting like I'm going to next week in Wisconsin, then <laughs> I'm going to say I'm at a manager meeting in Wisconsin. I want you to know that, you know, I'm I'm, I'm a human. This is what I'm doing. Yeah. But I need to have an out of office. Yeah. Sometimes, like, if I'm on a cruise ship and I'm not anticipating having access because I'm too cheap to pay the $40 yeah, a day yeah, yeah. To, to have their internet plan, yeah. then I'll just be like, hey, I'm going to be in an area yeah. where I don't have cell reception. Wyoming. When I go to Wyoming every two years, yeah, you said that. I'm out. As for a week, yeah. I look. In order for me to get reception, climb to the top of the mountain. I have to climb to a, a true <laughs> store. I have to go to the top of the mountain, or I have to go all the way up to the front of the property, mm. which is a solid three and a half, four miles. I'm out. No. Yeah, you like have to, you have to go. Yep. Or I get to go use dial-up Wi-Fi. Do, do, oh. do, do, do. Yeah, like it, it, when it, it takes seven minutes for the most generic. Um, oh my. 
uh, email to load. There you go. Yeah. But when you're when you are leaving, these are things you need to do. I'm explaining these. Some people are like, "WTF? Why is he wasting my time?" You'd be surprised. But you'd be surprised. No, no, I'm serious. You'd be exactly. surprised. Grown, loan. I'm serious. You'd be surprised how many people. Where's Where's Jerry been? Oh, he's been out on vacation for like two yeah. weeks. Oh, I, I did you know this? Yeah, he told me. It's, me only. Look, and, and this is not just salespeople. Yeah. Processors, underwriters, mm-hmm. admin, mm-hmm. accounting, payroll. If you're gonna be out, let some let people know. know yeah. It's the courteous thing to do. It's a dick move not to. Yeah. Same thing goes for voicemail. Make sure you change your voicemail that states, please stop and listen to this message in its entirety. You have reached the voicemail of Dustin Owen with Waterstone Mortgage. Please take note that I will be out of the office until Wednesday, September 15th. If you need immediate assistance, please call Kevin Murphy at 407-645-6350. Yeah. That's it. If not, leave a message and I'll get back to you as right. soon as possible. Right. Like, you need to be doing those types of things just like you need to be taking time off. Right. And it, it can't be MIA off the grid <laughs> unless you have hit the Mecca. And this this is, anyone who tune in, tunes into this show, I hope at some point either you're close or you have a three, five, or seven year goal to get to this part. You should be so badass running John Coleman LLC that you have a team, mm-hmm. right? You should at some point have an assistant and a partner so that you can go to Italy for your 20 year wedding anniversary and be gone for 15 days. And for the most part off the grid, mm-hmm. but in order to do so, that's when you have to have a team, your, your right hand can hold down the fort, mm-hmm. right? Your assistant for the most part, if you have, all you have is an assistant, great. You're one step further ahead than those without an assistant, mm-hmm. but please know your assistant should be there to put out fires to quarterback stuff for you. Right, someone calls in and the assistant's like, hey, over my skill set, over my experience, let me go find someone within the branch mm-hmm. to, to, to help us. Or let me at least kick this person down to five or seven days when so-and-so comes back yeah. to the office. Yeah. When you don't have an assistant, that's when you have to be extremely punctual with your out-of-office email, with, with setting a personalized voicemail, and having a buddy in place. All right. So we start by, by by taking just one day off, take a long weekend. Mm-hmm. Then we then we go to start a couple of our, our bookending holidays. Fourth of July is a good one. Yeah. Labor Day, Memorial Day are always good bookend holidays. Mm-hmm. And then we're gonna lead up to a, a full a whole entire week. Full week. A whole week. Do you remember when you took your first full week off after you had started like humming as a loan officer? Like once you really had it. Like we going? went to Siesta Key. With the Mosley. So our best friends, Chris and Meredith Mosley, live up in Atlanta. We live down here in Central Florida. Mm-hmm. And we went there for a whole entire week. I think Jackson was eight. Okay. So that was eight years ago. Okay. Damn. Eight years ago. The only other time I took off a full week was when I got married. And at that time, I was not in the mortgage industry. I was someone else's assistant working up in Atlanta. All right. So I worked one of those jobs that the good news is I could take off for a whole entire week. And none of that work followed me. Right. The bad news is I made twenty three thousand eight hundred dollars. Right. That was my salary. <laughs> There's a trade off. That that was my salary. There right. was a distinct trade off. Right. So other than that, it took me that long. Hmm. Well, the goal of this show is how do I expedite someone else's learning curve? Yeah. You right. know, yeah, like you know, yeah. do as I say, not as I did. Hmm. You know, I'm 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 trying to help people out. I wish I would have taken more. Now I was at a different point in my life. I had two small kids. Yeah. Which, by the way, I know you don't have any kids, but people who do have kids, it's not fun taking them anywhere I, when they're that little. Mm, or it's old. super fun. No, it's, it's super fun taking them places when they are a young adult. My wife and I truly love ages six to ten. We call that the sweet spot. Mm-hmm. Um, but when you got car seats and pack and plays and diaper bags, mm. uh-uh. Mm-hmm. Like I didn't want to go anywhere, mm-hmm. and because I was a young, just starting out, lo. And my wife was a young uh, stay-at-home mom. We were B R O K E. We were oh, broke. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. So I didn't have any money to go anywhere. Right. So at that point, it made it really easy to go to work. Right. But what I have found, and what I've experienced, and what uh, people who came before me have have suggested, and they were right, is you got to give yourself a break. This book talks about it. Right, it, it it which by the way, read this book. It's super easy. Yeah. It almost should have been written in crayon. It's so easy. 
Um, <laughs> like, you know, after, after I read Hamilton. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this, dude, yeah, everything, everything now. Is, although, you know, I, I just put, picked up a book that I, I tried reading like four years ago. Mm-hmm. And I put it down because I wasn't yet a reader. Right? I didn't mm-hmm. become a reader until two years ago. Oh, right. So I, I um, in that book, mm-hmm. eh, that one was not written in crayon. Right. It's still not Hamilton. It's, yeah. But it's it's not still the lizard either. It's not Goosebumps. Yeah, which is, it's not Goosebumps. <laughs> yes, yeah, look at you go with, with R.L. Goosebumps. Stein, classic. Yeah. What are some other tips and tricks we can talk about with people? Okay. Um, so when you do go on vacation, how do you like actually be on vacation? Because when you're there, you're checking your phone, you have anxiety. Like, yeah, honey, I'll get to it. I'll just let me open the laptop. And then, but you find yourself like, babe, we spent all the money. Leave that motherfucker at home. And we're not talking about your kids. But maybe we are. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm serious. That's how you do it. Just leave it. You want to not look at it? You leave it. But. No. No, no but. Especially if you're with someone else. If they have a phone that works, you only need one phone that works. Yeah. Right? Do you remember your mom and dad leaving the house, grabbing the home phone, and like no, carrying it with them on their hip? Simpler times. Yeah. No, of course not. Yeah. yeah. No. Did you ever grab that big old Macintosh computer that used to play Oregon Trail on and carry that thing around? You died from dysentery. Yeah. You didn't need yeah, it. You didn't need it. You don't need it. Yeah. Put it down. Mm-hmm. Give yourself opportunities to check it. Right. Check it in the morning when you have breakfast. Awesome. Have that conversation with the person you're traveling with because it's a dick move when you're at a dinner mm. or you're at an event or someone's at your house. And by the way, I break this rule often enough. It's something that I have to be cognizant of and I have to work on myself is not looking at my phone because of the habit. My lizard brain wants to look at it. My lizard brain wants to look at it. Yep, got to look, got to look. No, put it away. Put it away. If you sit with me, I think you noticed this because mm. I was doing it to you the other, the other uh, week and you're like, oh, I liked how you turned it upside down. I'll turn my phone to where I can't see the screen so it doesn't it distract might, yeah, me. Right. Ideally, I'd have it e- even removed, out of sight, out of mind. Right. So look at it in the morning. Leave it in your hotel room. Just leave it. Come back. Check it when you get back. Whether you get back at 3 or you get back at 6, check it then. Mm-hmm. You're out of office and your voicemail should have easily stated to people mm-hmm. that you are on vacation. You're not going to be easily accessible, and you will do your best to check emails and voicemails and get back as soon as possible. And these are the people to contact in case they need something. Right. And be detailed. If it's a loan and process, call my processor, Brittany. If it's for a mortgage pre-approval, call my partner, Kevin. Right. Right? If you're calling to complain, call my manager, David. <laughs> yeah, you know, direct like, line, yeah. Yeah, here's his direct yeah. – and his cell phone yeah, number and else? his home phone number. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like right. – you know, but. Like, you should have that so you feel comfortable. And then, by the way, finally, and I'm going to butcher this quote, and it's a quote that I love, so I should have memorized it. Okay. But it's Zig Ziglar, and it goes something along the lines of, there's enough people willing to do business the way that I do business that I don't need to do business with people who don't. Hmm. If you're not going to respect my time and you're not going to respect my sanity and my need to recharge and – you're not going to be my client because you needed me right away. Right away. And no one else, no one else could help you. Not my processor, not not the, the guy or girl covering for mm-hmm. me, not my assistant, nobody. Nobody. You know what, look, I, I, if I lost that loan, I lost that loan. Mm-hmm. I, I guess I'm just going to have to go work a little bit harder to replace that referral source and go find the loan that I missed. But guess what I can do, John? What's that? I have the energy to actually do that. Now I'm refreshed. Now I'm refreshed. Now I'm recharged. Yeah. Like our, our business and our lives is not about one transaction. It's a collection of mm. transactions yeah. that's going to lead into the thousands. Mm-hmm. So that one loan that I did or didn't close in October of 2014, do you think that one loan means two shits to me today? Probably not. No. But you know what does matter? That vacation, that whatever experiences and memories you made on that uh, trip that 100%. will last a lifetime. 100%. Mm-hmm. And that could have been... Going to my daughter's dance recital. Right. That could have been going to my son's baseball tournament. Yep. That could be attending my my grandparents' 50th wedding anniversary. Like, mm-hmm. no one loan. No one relationship. Mm-hmm. And, and I've had the luxury of having a massive relationship end in divorce. Now, not a marriage. Mm-hmm. It was a business relationship. Right. One that, that lasted nine plus years. One that was... 40% of the loans that my team originated at one point. Damn. Yeah. Amicable di- divorce. Yeah. They wanted it and we wanted it. We're still friends. But you're still here too. We stay, we, we stay friends with the kids. <laughs> right, right, yeah, right. But like, you know, we're, we're still friends. Right. 
and we had our best year ever last year. Okay. Like yeah. nothing should get in the way of you getting out and making memories. Yeah. Nothing should get in the way of you being able to go to a work conference that's going to better you professionally mm -hmm. long term. Mm -hmm. Not one loan, not one lead source. Mm -hmm. You just got to get out there and do it. And if you find yourself, look, you can travel with your laptop. That is the great part about technology. Mm -hmm. The great part about technology is that I can get away and not really be away. Mm -hmm. For example, when I travel up to our home office, I'm not freaking out because I have my cell phone and I have my laptop. Mm -hmm. Most planes these days have Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. So when I get into the airport at 9 a.m. for my 1030 flight, Besides going through TSA <laughs> and standing in a 13-minute Starbucks coffee line, that's why I always go to the hot dog vendor mm -hmm. and buy his coffee. Because I'm Nathan's hot dogs. I'm not a coffee snob. <laughs> and it's way quicker. But then I can sit there and I can work for an hour. Mm -hmm. Then I can get on the plane. I can work for another hour and a half. Yeah. Right. Then I can attend all of my meetings. And before I go to the cocktail reception, because it's free booze, and who doesn't love free booze, yes, sir. I can work a little bit more. Yeah. I can be available. The technology allows me to do that. But... If that was a vacation, cool. But once I get to that hotel, mm -hmm. I owe it to myself. I owe it to the, my travel companion, my family, my spouse, whoever. Mm -hmm. I'm not there to work. Mm -hmm. No one likes it. Mm -hmm. No, no. I, I have people that I've traveled with. It's like, oh, so and so has oh, to work. Oh, got to do the work. Yeah, gotta and guess do what? I don't want to hear it. Nobody cares. No Nobody one cares. Nobody cares. Yeah, literally shut your mouth <laughs> and go work. Because I got restaurants I want to go to, bars yeah, I want to go got, to. We got, I, we got places we need to see. To nobody history tours. Nobody, nobody told you to open that laptop and ruin and put a damper on the day. Yeah, that's on you. And yeah. I challenge that person. Like, by the way, no one's so important. No one. No one's job mm. is so important. Well, I can't say no one. You know no what one's I mean. a strong you know, yeah, word. Right, right, right. That they can't be away for two, three, four, or five days. Mm. And if, if your boss doesn't allow that yo call morgan and morgan because you may have some fair labor <laughs> standards acts uh that 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 are being violated right true story like right. pick up the phone and call one of the morgan boys uh, yeah i mean the, 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 those guys are attorneys i think in all 50 states at this point you yeah. got to know morgan and morgan if you're tuned into this show size matters size matters yes yeah. for the people it used to be now yeah. it's all about size mm -hmm. used to be about the people now it's about it's the size of the people yeah. Yeah. yeah but no seriously like you have to think like I'm going to get myself on a soapbox here, oh, John. No, here we I'm go. On a here we go. So, how insignificant are we as people? I mean, I think about that. That's a long – I'm still learning that to this day. Right, and it's crazy mm -hmm. because we do matter. Mm -hmm. We matter to our friends and to our family, mm -hmm. right? We, we matter to those that we work with. Right. But in the big scheme of things – Insignificance. Yeah, there are 385 million people in, in the United States, roughly. Mm -hmm. 385 million. Mm. That means if I knew 1% of them, I would know 3.85 million That's people. A shitload of people. Okay. So if I knew 0.1%, I would know 385,000 people. Mm. Nope. Nope. So if I knew 0.01%, <laughs> I would know 38,000? Mm, nope. Probably not. 0 0.001. I mean, it's like, at what point? Mm -hmm. And those are people who are alive now. Yeah. Now, yeah. age zero to 100. Yeah. So I'm 43 years old. Mm -hmm. I'm going to live to 107. Mm -hmm. I'm putting it out there. That's a promise. Yeah. Yep. I promised my kids that. I said, look, if you're sitting around waiting for me to die so you can get rich. Chill, bro. Hey, I, it, it may happen, <laughs> but that means you're getting this money when you're about 87 yeah, years right, old. Right, right, yeah. Right, yeah, right. Yeah, good luck. Yeah, I know. Good, good luck enjoying it when you're 87 and I'm 107. Oh, yeah. But when, when I do die, hopefully in 65 years yeah. or longer. How many people would remember me 50 years after that date? Chill. Nah, it's slim. Very slim. Yeah, and even after that, nobody. Yeah, maybe my grandkids, but not their kids. Yeah. You know what is cool, though, about, well, you, you won't have any, but I will, <laughs> hopefully. Yeah. My great-grandkids, yeah. hopefully if the internet's still around and YouTube's still around, they'll be they, can actually, the podcast. they can actually see yeah, us. That was your granddad. Look at yes. doing that podcast thing when mortgages yeah. were a thing. Yeah. yeah. Now we just live in the ether. Yes. That's exactly it. Yeah. Yeah. But no, but at the end of the day, like, like no one job right. 
is ever so important that you shouldn't get out there and be able to decompress. Such about it makes you a better person it when does. you do quality time outside of your of your workplace. It does. It it, it makes you a better place and or makes you a better person. Mm-hmm. And if you're a better person, then you can become a better associate, a more successful associate, possibly even leave the world a little bit better than what you found it. Like that's, that's always my thing. Like I understand I'm insignificant. Mm. That means I don't sweat the small things, Mm. but also understand that I have an an ability to impact a few thousand people throughout my lifetime. Mm -hmm. And I could potentially leave the world when, when I leave it Mm -hmm. in 65 years, better than I found it. If I was able to impact enough people. Right. But in the big scheme of things, I'm kind of irrelevant. Right. Therefore, the job that I'm working, the task that I'm assigned, Mm -hmm. they can wait for me to go on vacation, especially if if it means that it allows me when I am working to always be at a level eight to a level nine and not never taking time off, but being consistently a five or a six. You don't want to do that. Who who wants to employ someone who's a consistent five or six? Mm -hmm. So look, get out there, especially salespeople, take time off. But do it methodically. Make sure you have people that are covering for you, people who are who are backing you up. Mm-hmm. Eventually, if you're a, a sales professional, aspire to have a team mm-hmm. and allow that team to cover for you. Mm-hmm. Even if that team is only 80% as good as you are, because no one's better than no me. No one's going to be better I have than not me. met a salesperson who hasn't thought they weren't the best. Hey, I'll leave. hey by the way, you're not. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Even if, like, like you can be great, right. and you're great like another 100 people are great. Right. But very few are like the best, the best, right? In fact, only one can be the best. Mm-hmm. Literally. Right, literally. Literally, there can yeah. only be one. Then you have to then, well, I'm the top 10 right. or I'm the top 100. I'm in the 1%. Okay. Gotcha. Um, yeah, but only one could ever be the best. Right. Even if you're the best and your team is not, I promise you, your clients are still going to love mm-hmm. the service that your team gives them because if it's your team, they learn from the best. Yeah, right? They're managed by the best. They're led by the best. All right. So what if 80% of the best was still better than 95% of the competition? Yeah. Okay. Quit comparing your team to you. Compare your team to the, to the true competition, which is everyone else out there. there you go. And if you're inspecting what you expect mm-hmm. and you have high expectations, you're a great leader of that team, even if they only bring 80% of what you bring, but their 80% is 95% of what the competition brings, you're giving your client a great experience. That means you have permission to get out, decompress, Travel, make memories, come back recharged so you can be a better leader to your team. Well said. Yeah, that's it. How does that work? That works great for me. You think people tuning in uh, would, would get something from that? I'm ready to go on vacation now. Well, just John, kidding. you're always I, ready I, to go I'm, on vacation. I'm just kidding. I laid, I'll Let, lay up for you. Yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah. What, that's what I did. Yeah, on, on your end, I, we're still working on the... We're we're still looking working on the on the, the, the after I call it right. Well, the before we're right. working on the before. Right. The before is the person who incessantly is working. Well, listen, I can, listen, seven, I'll, I'll end five, today's episode on this. Until you've gone on your honeymoon to Denver or wherever I went for my honeymoon, and I still brought my laptop and it was on like was my birthday or something, something significant. I was working that morning because a game was launching because it was the most important game that had to be launched and of like the time difference. So I was up at like four a.m. for a seven a.m. launch. And it was the most important thing. Do you remember the video game? Of course, no one does because it doesn't matter. <laughs> so, but I learned a lot from that. So, case point, if you have a special occasion, whether it be a honeymoon, a wedding, a retreat, don't bring your work with you because it'll never be worth it. No, it's not. Mm. No, it's not. But there is definitely a balance. Look, there, there is a balance. I want, I want to make this my last comment. You can't be an aloof prick who just is an average associate who likes to take time off. Yes. Oh, yes. Please. Yes. And and. Expect others to do the work. Because, by the way, when, when when people are covering for you, they're covering. Yes. That means they're putting out fires. Yeah. They're making sure that, like, no one dies. They're making sure that that, that the ship doesn't sink. Yeah. You're still going to have to work your ass off the three or four days leading up to you leaving. Right. And when you get back, you're sp- probably going to have two or three 10 or 12-hour days yeah, it, where you're playing catch-up. Right. That's a price you pay. Mm-hmm. Right. It just that is what it is. It is what it is. Don't. Just willy nilly leave, be, and 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 you were given five to six out of ten effort before you left. And you, now come you come back, back you're given five, five to six, six. And, and all you're thinking about is your next trip, your next time off. No, the goal is to always be performing at an eight to nine out of ten. Mm-hmm. It's impossible to be at ten out of ten. You can have a ten out of ten day. You're not going to consistently be be a, a ten, right? right? You're going to be consistently an eight to a nine. Right. Get out, decompress, so you can come back and continue being eight to the nine, so that you don't go from an eight nine to an eight seven. To a seven six, six, right? right, right. Like 
Like that's the, that's the ultimate goal. Mm -hmm. But the encouragement is to get out. If you are a solopreneur, if you're 100% commissioned, start with baby steps, set boundaries. You respect your boundaries. If you don't respect your, your boundaries, you can't expect other people to respect your boundaries. Set them. Set them. Practice them. And when you slip, it's okay. Pick yourself back up and keep on practicing. If you like what we're putting down and you made it this far, we thank you. Thank you. This show is found in all formats. We are video audio on our YouTube channel at the Lone Officer Podcast. We are audio only on Spotify, on Apple Podcast, on Google Play, or really anywhere where you can find podcasts. If you're into social media, guess what? So are we. We are on TikTok. We are on Instagram. We are on Facebook. And we're even on LinkedIn at The Lone Officer Podcast. If you want to contact my co-host and my producer, John Coleman, he is found on Google. Just Google John Coleman. <laughs> Me, I'm Dustin Owen. I'm the host of this show, and I'm best connected with on LinkedIn. That is all the time we have for you today, but we will catch you in the next episode. Peace.